Thank you very much. Um, my name is Rachel Lamy. Um, I work in member and community outreach at Crossref and I'm going to talk today about um, metadata, um, which we know and love, um, and the fact that the discoverability um, and richer metadata, the, the future of that is in the hands of, of all of us really. Um, if you don't know Crossref, um, we're a not-for-profit membership organisation, um, predominantly for, um, for publishers, we work with libraries as well, and it's to try to make content easy to find, cite, link and assess through the assignment of metadata and persistent identifiers for content. Um, in numbers, um, we've got nearly over 5,500 publisher members, metadata for tens of millions of DOIs. It's a great resource. But it, it could be better, and that's what this is gearing, um, gearing up to do. Um, yes, we collect a bibliographic meta, but we also collect more than that. It's not just enough information to be able to specifically identify an article, a book, conference proceedings. Um, we're also in the proof, we also collect non-descriptive information that, that facilitates usage. Um, what I mean by that is that publishers can give us in license information. <laughs> so collecting um, information on how the, um, the piece of content can be reused. Author identifiers, having publishers collect and deposit ORCID IDs that identify the author, the license that the paper has been published under to, um, to enable reuse for things like text mining. And also things like who funded the research, what grant number, um, clinical trial information, so we can collect a clinical trial number associated with lots of different papers that all centre around that clinical trial so that they can all be linked together and discovered in the metadata. Also information on things like corrections and retractions, archiving information. Why should anybody care about a campaign for, um, for richer metadata? That's what, that's what I'm here to, to persuade you um, today. Because at Crossref we were keen to, to get publishers to deposit the best and the richest metadata that we can, but we realised it's bigger than us. So we went out and talked to people within our community and they were saying, you know, it is, it's layers upon layers. Um, it's not something that, that Crossref can drive by themselves because although we work closely with publishers, there, there are bigger benefits um, that, that are transferred to the wider community by publishers doing this and we need their help too. Because there are problems in the existing system, you know, people were saying, well, I don't get asked for my ORCID very much and then when I do, I don't actually see it being used and the benefits of, you know, less data entry and author disambiguation being, being realised. Um, a lot of our members are very small um, international publishers what we need to do is, we need to do a couple of things. We need to provide better tools for them to provide metadata. Things like OJS are great and we're working with PKP, but we need to, to really communicate to them that better metadata increases their visibility um, so that it can sit and be discovered e equally as well as that from, um, from our, our biggest publisher members. So that's great, but where do we go from here? I put a slide into pad actually, that was um, quite good. <laughs> um, so we wanted to recognise that, uh, you know, this is our kind of um, modus operandi, but metadata is the engine that drives discoverability, use and reuse of scholarly communications. Um, but it, it, it could be, you know, some of the talks this, um, in the last few days have already covered the fact that it could be better. Um, so we're, gonna, we're working on a campaign um, in recognition that it's, it's not just something that sits with, um, that sits with one organisation. It sits with us, it sits with ORCID, it sits with other DOI um, providers and also with, um, with libraries, institutions um, and people in the wider research ecosystem. So Metadata 2020 is um, a campaign that we're in the process of launching and the aim of that is to educate and motivate um, publishers to supply richer metadata to rec and to recognise the people who are doing a really good job of it already. Um, it's nice to say that but we need, to, we need practical steps, we need things to do. 
So we want to encourage publishers to make a, publish, a public commitment to do this. But for me, the really important thing is the second part, giving publishers the tools that they need to see what metadata they're providing and how they can and tools to be able to do that better. This sounds this sounds weird, but not a lot of publishers don't know what metadata they're giving Crossref because that's it's at a remove from their processes. So we need to make it so that we can educate and equip and make publishers aware in a really simple format. This is this is what you're giving Crossref. If you're collecting ORCID IDs, are you actually depositing them with us? Are you depositing DOIs for data? Are you linking data using DOIs in your references and linking up that whole story around a manuscript? <coughs> so we're going to provide participation reports, really simple ways for publishers to see what they're giving us, um, how much they're giving us, and helping them to do that better. So as with all things, um, we've got a working group, but I wanted just to show the fact that this is, um, we're trying to represent a cross section of the, of the community who access and use metadata and are in positions to actually, um, to actually talk to a broad range of stakeholders about that. Um, the working group have met, I was hoping to have, we've got a website in development that's about to go up, I don't have it just yet, um, and we've, um, we've got a consultant who's working with the group to really start to kick this off in the next couple of months. Um, it will be the 40th anniversary of the World Wide Web in 2020, so we thought that was a good thing to aim for, even if, even if that's just step one. Um, we wanted the opportunity just to, to get up and, and talk about it because we need input from the whole community on this and support. Um, please watch out for more information and also give, up, give us feedback. We'd, we'd love more people to be involved and, and to support, support what we're doing here because it could be incredibly valuable to everyone. Thank you.